All right, so there's 30 bands on this. I'm going to remove the safety and show you how the trip works. This trip is extremely light. It's a new model here on the mine, so let's give it a try. So that seemed to shoot really well. Um, shot pretty hard. Let me show you what we got here. Um, I had 30 rubber bands on that. It works best with 20 to 30 rubber bands. Um, with 30 rubber bands, the, the trip is very uh, sensitive, is the best word, I guess. You have to really make sure you got it in there and because it acts like a spring. This is the new trip um, for this particular version. And you notice here there's rollers inside. Can you see that? You got the rollers. So what that does is when you put this in here, if you can zoom in kind of right here, it's putting a lot of stress um, basically up on this back part here. So you got the orange connector. It kind of rests right behind this uh, I-beam almost of the orange connector, which allows these to flex and acts like a spring. So it almost shoots it out. So the more pressure you have on this uh, particular trip, the easier it wants to shoot out. So changes to the, the mine are um, the rollers, the top. This is uh, allowing for a lot more structural support. So when this whole system's together and there's a lot of pressure pushing up on this thing, um, it, it all just sort of uh, stays together better. So it's a more consistent trip. It seems to work best with uh, 20 to 30 rubber bands. Um, with 30 rubber bands, like I said, because there's the rollers in here and just the way this trip is set up, um, it, you, it wants to just fly out. So you really have to hold it there for a second and then carefully let go and then from there it's really sensitive remove the uh, the safety and you're you're ready to go and so anyway let me show you how to load real fast I'm not gonna load the whole thing I'm gonna load 10 rounds because there is a trick to this thing um, if you notice I have these pieces here in the front and the reason I had to do that with the gray connector and the uh, tan piece is because in order to fit the rollers and fit pieces through here the orange I had to use these rounded tops instead of the orange connectors because it wouldn't fit so let me show you how to load real fast so just like before you're gonna load five across now once you get the five in take your trigger push this up like that and then you're actually gonna want to take your trip and shove them down a little bit and if you don't do that um, they tend to jam up, but if you do that, I haven't had a problem jamming it. So like I said, you're just going to load five in a row. Take your trigger, shove it down, and then take your trip and uh, push it down a little further. By doing that, they don't get jammed up at all. Um, I noticed that when I was just loading them in and pulling the trigger down, it would jam. Like Obviously, after you get like 40 of them in, so you have to redo the whole thing. But if I use the trip and just jam it down... Um, and then add five more seems to be working out well so um, really like this particular uh, upgrade with the rollers the reinforced top um, the side walls and then this is the trip for this particular one this would not work so well on the other one just the way it was designed but with the rollers it really wants to just shoot out of there it works really well um, it's working best with about 25 bands um, once you get to 30 like I said you really have to kind of just hold it there wait for it to set and then okay remove your safety you're ready to go but like I said it's super sensitive at 30 bands um, I can always design a new trip or something um, but it, like I said it's a it's a fine balance you want to have a trip that holds strong and you know supports every one of these trigger points but also trips easy and that's what I think I got with this so um, go ahead give it a try hope you guys like the mine um, I know Johnny's working on a stand and uh, the way this is designed, or I was originally intending, was it'd set up kind of like this with a stand, and you'd be able to adjust the level. And um, so, yeah, uh, check out pictures. Johnny has some pictures, I'm sure, of his stand that he's working on. I'll be uh, working with him, trying to make uh, the best stand for this particular um, mine. And uh, we'll shoot some videos and uh, have some more fun with it. So, have a good day, guys.